In Isaiah 43, verse 19, it reads, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. You know, sometimes I'm reminded sometimes when I drive a car that there's a reason why the rearview mirror is smaller than the windshield. It's because we're meant to look forward most of the time. We're only meant to look at what's behind us a small amount of the time. You know, if you continue dwelling on the old things that God has done, you're not going to see the new things that God plans for you. Focusing on the past is good only if you learn from it. We're supposed to learn from our past. Learn from your past mistakes. Learn from your past failures and move on. Don't sit there and wallow in the past. Don't sit there and wallow in the mire of all the past failures and what you've done wrong and all that. In other words, it's hard for you to see what lays ahead if you're constantly looking behind you. The Lord tells us, don't look, at, don't look back at what's happened behind you. Look forward. Look forward to what's coming ahead. Don't, don't even think about it. Press on to the higher calling that God has for you. God wants to do something new in your life. When you face what's coming ahead, you know, we're facing a new year now and new things are coming along. You know, God may be wanting to do something new in your life. What do you do when God puts something new in your life? How will you react to it? Will the Holy Spirit flow like a river in your life? What will you do with what God has planned for you? Remember those words, Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall it spring forth? Shall you not know it? Even I will make a new road in the desert and rivers in the wilderness.